If you use Google Font API on your website, you need to watch this video. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site and Constant Magic. This is about Constant Magic, not Pixel Your Site. And I want to explain a bit about the Google Fonts API and GDPR problem. Uh, when you use Google Fonts API, your phones are hosted by Google on their own servers. And while Google doesn't use cookies to track user behavior, uh, and they say they don't track users at all, it's possible that Google Phones API gets users IP from your website. So your visitors IP go to Google and on the GDPR, this is not okay. In fact, we have news about um, fines applied to companies in Germany uh, it's exactly for this reason, for using Google Phones API. So uh, maybe you should replace Google Phones API with local hosted phones. Is that if that's possible? I think it is. If, if you have a good developer, I don't see any reason for them not to do it. And maybe some themes have this option. Maybe there are WordPress plugins. However, if you don't have the technical possibility to replace Google Phones API with uh, local hosted phones, Constant Magic has a solution for you if you are a Constant Magic user, of course. Uh, what we do, we um, have a dedicated category for Google Phones. You can enable that category. Uh, our um, screener will look for our scanner, will look for uh, Google Phones. If we find them, we inform the users about the use of Google Phones. And if they don't agree with this, we will replace Google Fonts API with locally hosted fonts. Let me show you exactly how it works. Uh, this is constant magic. Uh, Google Fonts, it's relatively new. Um, it's a feature we implemented starting May 2022, when I record this video, actually. Uh, if you install the plugin for the first time after this date, you will see a message about Google Fonts. Otherwise, if you are an older user, uh, congrats to you about that. Good choice. Uh, you need to manually enable this dedicated Google Fonts category. You will see a message in the WordPress admin. So uh, I will show you exactly what the process. Go to scripts and cookies. Uh, right here, this is the scanner, not there. Go here, Google Fonts and Make sure the category is not ignored. Uh, for older users, we will deploy the plugin with this category ignore so we don't mess up with your website. Okay. And here you have um, the description or the text that will be visible to your visitors about Google Fonts. You can change it if you need. And here you can select uh, between three locally hosted phones that will replace uh, Google Fonts API if the user doesn't agree to Google Fonts use. So I um, don't have the category ignored now. Go back and at the next scan, the scanner will look and uh, search for Google Fonts as well. If, if they are present, they will be listed. I will recommend to run a scan after you do that change. And once Google Fonts API is detected on your website, in this constant message, <clears throat> you will have it listed as a separate category. And if the user allow Google phones, they will continue to work. If the visitor uh, doesn't agree to Google phones use, uh, we will stop using them and replace uh, Google phones with one of the uh, default um, phones supported by the plugin. That's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site and Constant Magic. Uh, subscribe to our channel and why not like this video. Thank you.